another series children's psychology and spirituality a child need to be free of parents and no parent has courage to free the child of them everything in life really depends on a very simple understanding the whole idea that children are your possession is wrong but this is what we all know they are born through you but they do not belong to you they have you have a past they have only future they are not going to live according to you they are going to live according to their own understanding to live according to you is almost not living at all they live according to themselves in freedom in responsibility in danger and in challenge that is how one becomes strong with love and respect towards your children there can be there will be no generation gap between you and your children but it requires tremendous courage in prophet khalil speaks through the prophet al mustafa he was asked by the disciple al mitra a question master what about love and children in response al mustafa speaks children are born through you not from you give them your love not your mind mind they will have of their own as parents you had the mechanism and you have the mechanism for children to be born therefore a child is born out of you through that mechanism just as parents are passage for the birth of a child you as a parent are the passage for a child to be born just as a room has a door and door is not part of the room door is the passage through which you enter the room and you exit the room so too parents is the door for child to enter as fetus in seed form and develop and exit from the same door into the vast open world a vast open space that is life as soon as a child is born we start conditioning the child in myriad ways and thus begins the process that leads to the need of the psychology so the seed of the psychology lies in the conditioning the moment the child is born and that process continues the child psychology then adult needs a psychology then the grown up as a grown up person you need psychological and psychological assistance child psychology is one of the many branches of psychology this particular branch focuses on mind and behavior of the child from prenatal development through adolescence during prenatal period the state of the parents affect the child in the womb experts differ in their response to some of the bigger questions in child psychology such as whether early experiences matter more than the later ones or whether nature or nurture plays a greater role in the development of the child because child plays such an important role in the course of the rest of his life such an important role in the rest of his life it is little wonder why this topic has become such an important one within psychology sociology and even education if you look into the face of a child faces of children when they arrive 
fresh from the source of life you will see a certain presence which cannot be named unnameable indefinable that presence is there in the in the eyes of a child the child is alive you cannot define his aliveness but it is there you can feel it it is so much there that whoso howsoever blind you may be you cannot miss this it is it is fresh it smells freshness around you can smell a freshness around a child and that fragrance slowly and slowly disappears and the child grows and if unfortunately the child becomes successful a celebrity a president a prime minister a pope or something else from the same then the same child is things i have no reservations to see this he had come with a tremendous fragrance immeasurable indefinable unnameable unnameable you look into eyes of the child you cannot find anything deeper the eyes of a child are like an abysmal there is no bottom to it unfortunately the way society will destroy the child soon his eyes will only be the superficial because of the layers upon layers of conditionings that depth that immeasurable depth will have disappeared long before and with that the original face as well the child has no thoughts about what about what can he think thinking needs a past thinking needs problems he has no past he has only future he has not yet developed problems around him so he is without problems and there is no thought process there is no possibility of thinking for him what can he think of when there is no past a child is conscious without thinking such is the nature of the original face of the child once you was a child and this was your face too although you have forgotten it but is it still pulsating within you waiting some day to be rediscovered i am using the word rediscovered because it has to be recovered you have this redis you have discovered it many a times in the previous lives and again and again you go on forgetting it perhaps in this life there has been moments when you came very close to knowing your original face to feeling it to being it but the world is too much with us it there is a great pull in that and there are thousand and one directions the world pulls you apart it is pulling you in many directions that you are falling apart it is a miracle how you go on managing to keep yourself together otherwise one hand is going to the north the next going to the south feet going in to different directions and head must be going towards heaven all the parts are flying in all different directions it is certainly a miracle how you go on keeping yourself together perhaps the pressure from all sides is too much so that your hands and legs 
etc. cannot fly. You are pressed from everywhere and that is the share your own life has. Tell them that you have been conditioned by your parents, that you have lived within a certain limitations according to certain ideals and because of these limits and ideals you have completely missed your life and you do not want to destroy the children's life. You want them to be totally free, free of you because to them you represent the whole past and they represent to you the whole future. The past and future can be bridged in this moment but they never meet together. It needs guts, it needs tremendous love in a father, in a mother to tell children you need to be free of us, don't obey us, depend on your own intelligence, depend on your own intelligence even if you go astray, it is far better than to remain slave and always remain right. It is better to commit mistakes on your own and learn from them rather than follow somebody else and do not and not commit any mistakes. But then you are not going to learn anything except following and that is poison, pure poison. It is very easy if you love, don't ask how. Because how means you are asking for a method, a methodology, a technique. Love is not a technique and it does not need technique. It is a spontaneous overflow from within. Love your children. Enjoy their freedom. Let them commit mistakes. Help them to see where they have committed a mistake. Tell them to commit mistake is not wrong. Commit as many mistakes as you can, but do not repeat the same mistake again and again because that will make you dull, dull-witted and stupid. You are seeing the two books appearing, two titles as pictures photos appearing on each side of this video. The left is a book written by Dr. Tanya Narendra. She is a claimed doctor and she has written this book, Dr. Cutris. All that a child and adult wants to know so that there are no conditionings, no wrong information about the body. Each child wants to know about the body and the way the book explains is a miracle, a great effort on the part of Tanya. On the right you see a book Life, Love and Light written by Nivedita. This book is an extraordinary gift to a human being, to a child that you can give as a parent to your child. Let him learn about the different aspects of relationship and many other questions that come in the mind of the child. All these questions have been answered in this book. So these two books should form as a gift by a parent to his child so that they can learn this process, this series of child psychology and child growth will continue in continuing days and more and more information will be shared with you all.